Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope that you're staying warm tonight. I'm Kathy Uriarte. As Dale did mention, the wind chill is going to go to dangerous levels over the next few days. Earlier today, the city did lay out its plan to protect the most vulnerable members of our community, the elderly. Our Javier Guerra is at the Senior Meals Program Kitchen with the details. Tell us about this, Javi. Hey, Katia, that's exactly right. The staff here at the Senior Meals Program and the Home Delivery Program were working overtime to ensure that these meals would make its way to the elderly population. I was actually in there a couple of hours ago, and they were working hard to provide those meals and get those meals ready for tomorrow. Now, these programs will be put on hold on Monday and Tuesday to make sure senior citizens aren't driving in the dangerously cold conditions. Now, some seniors may not have proper heating, so the city is planning on setting up eight warming centers that has not been confirmed yet, but they are in the works to confirm that. Now the locations have not been announced and if approved, they will be announced tomorrow, but we do know that they will be open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. To make sure seniors don't go hungry tomorrow, those enrolled in the senior meals program or Meals on Wheels will get a little something extra. We're going to be providing seniors with meals on Friday that'll last them through mid next week, right? So this Friday, a senior needs to go to our senior center to get their meals uh, for the next couple of days. Now, as I mentioned, the city is working on setting up those eight warming centers across the city. Now, when we know if those centers will be approved, they will be on our website. That's ChrisTV.com. And of course, we will keep you updated when those centers and if those centers will be approved. Live from the Senior Meals Program, Javier Guerra, Chris, 6 News. Back to you, Katia. All right, get somewhere inside, Javi. Thank you for that.